Dear friends and colleagues, and hello to everyone. Today, I am delighted to present eight international poets who will recite their poems published in the latest international poetry anthology, Songs from the Wind, from the publishing house Expedition in Germany. And this is a nice book. The music video at the beginning, which sets the tone for our poetic journey, was created and performed by Thomas Stuhn, a renowned musician from Germany. He was born in 1962. He was first passionate contact with music at the early age when he discovered his parents' record player. At 12, the first guitar should not be the last. With 15, the rock and roll live debut. Several band projects followed with an expansion of styles from swing jazz, children's musical and blues pop to the creation of film music and in his recording studio. Songs from the Wind is not just another poetry anthology. It's the fifth international poetry anthology from the esteemed publishing house Expedition in Germany. Each book, a multilingual volume, brings together poems in English and their mother tongue, fostering a global literary exchange. Today, every performer will read their poem representing their unique culture and linguistic heritage. Our first poet is Albrecht Klassen, comes from Germany, but currently resides in the United States. He is a university distinguished professor of German studies at the University of Arizona, authoring 10 volumes of German and English poetry and four satires and essays. He served as book review editor of the literary journal Translit and is currently the president of the Society for Contemporary American Literature in Germany. His research focuses on the European Middle Ages. In recognition of his contributions, he received the Bundesverdienstkreuz am Band in 2004 and the title Grand Knight of the Most Noble Order of the Three Lions in 2017. So it's your turn, Albrecht. Thank you for being here. So I'm unmuted. You should be able to hear me. Yes. Then I share this my screen so you can see the text. And again, I would like to thank you, Gino. Um, I would like to give you this as a kind of a tribute. This is a wonderful what you have done. And I really, I think everyone else, and I, I think I can speak for everyone. We really appreciate that. Uh, you give us a chance to share basic fundamental issues. And um, the um, background right now, my background, that is um, Blomen and Planten in Hamburg. So <laughs> just in case I a little tribute to you. <laughs> and I don't want to spend too, too many words on um, explaining what I have done. But um, first of all, I really like the idea of a wind, a wind uh, that connects us all. And so once again, this enterprise that you have put together is a fantastic thing because it brings together so many different voices from so many cultures. And I'm very, very happy about that because we live right now 
in a world so much filled with violence and killing and wars, and we really need peace, and peace can only come through the words. Um, I will read my poem first in German, and then my English translation. Uh, the English translation is a little bit difficult to do, or did was difficult for me to do, because I decided to play in my German original on uh, lots of different um, elements or references or images from other poems. So uh, some, some of the fun of my poem, I think, uh, really rests on the ability to recognize uh, those uh, quotes. I'm not going to identify them. It would turn into a lecture, and I, I want to avoid that. So um, let me just try to read it slowly, and then I will offer the translation. I don't want to take too much time. Everyone should have the same time. So thank you very much once again, Gino. Thank you for everyone else for joining. Und auf den Fluren lass die Winde los, sprach der große Dichter. Und so lass ich ganz nach Bedarf meine Worte los, um über die Lande hin zu treiben, frei und unbeschwert. Wie im Traume wirbel mich die Winde durch die Watte Wolken hinweg. Zupfen an den Haaren und zerren an den Schößen, drehen mich um und um hoch in der Luft. Ich vergnüge mich am Spaß ganz frei dort oben. Wie viele Länder haben nicht die Winde? Ähm, und wie viele Menschen erst gar bereist und geduckt, durchgerüttelt und geschubst? Erst kommt der Sturm, dann der Regen. Ich rieche es im Wind und fühle die Tropfen. Die Bäume trifft der Sturm mit aller Macht. Wie beugt sich der bebende Wald? Wie ducken wir uns nicht alle? Der Wind, der Wind, das himmlische Kind. Es toben die Atmosphären, es dröhnt die Luft. Staub und Pollen, Sand und Samen, Blüten und Duft, treiben dahin, Flux im Flug. Hurtig, mein Kind, ein lustiger Geselle, ein bärbeißiger Greis, ein bitterer Sturm, ein kühles Lüftchen. Alles bewegt sich und fliegt im Wind davon. Hitze für die einen, Kälte für die anderen. Luftbewegungen ruhig und stürmisch. Toben in der Stratosphäre von der Sahara gen Norden, von den Alpenhöhen hinab in das Tal. Schicksalsschläge, der Wind kennt sie schon, Geburt und Tod Luft bewegt, wogende Weizenfelder, Wellenwind gepeitscht und tief beugt sich die ganze Welt. Nimm mich mit auf deinen Wegen, kühler Wind aus alten Tagen, Lass uns die Augen brennen in den heißen Zeiten, ein würdiger Geselle oder bloß Hustekuchen. So, in the fields, release the winds, said the great poet. So I let, just as the need calls for it, go of my words to make them float across the land, free and unhampered. The winds toss me around as if in a dream across the clouds of cotton. They pluck at my hair and pull at my shirt tails. They turn me around and around high in the air and I have fun with it so free up there. So many countries have the winds and so many people have they visited and pushed down, shaken up and bumped up. First there's a storm and then comes the rain. I smell it in the wind and feel the drops. The storm hits the trees with full force and see how the trembling forest bends down. We all have to bow down our heads 
It is the wind, the wind, the heavenly child, the atmosphere rages, the air is roaring. Dust and pollen, sand and seeds, blossoms and smell, float along, fast flying. Come quickly along, my child, a funny fellow, a grim-looking old man, a cool little wind, a biting storm. Everything moves forward and flies away in the wind. Heat for some, coldness for others. Movement of the air, calm and stormy, raging in the stratosphere from the Sahara toward the north, from the alpine heights down into the valley. Strikes of fortune, the wind knows them all. Earth and death move by air, heaving fields of wheat, waves whipped by the wind, and the entire world bends down so deeply. Take me with you on your journey, cool wind from the old days. Let us burn the ice during the hot season, dignified fellow, or only puffy cakes. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, uh, Albrecht. Thank you for writing your poem. <clears throat> And uh, our second poet is a German, Anna Wirth <clears throat> from Hamburg, the finest and most beautiful city in Germany, which I say not only because it is also my birth town, as is Anna's. She is an author and photographic artist in Hamburg. Her poems and short stories have been published in 89 anthologies and her book, Aphrodite Love Stoned. 2001, she received the Literary Sponsorship Award of Gedok. She regularly gives public reading readings both in Germany and abroad. In her literary pictures, she combines her poems with her photography. She has exhibited in Hamburg, Denmark, and Paphos, Paphos Cyprus. Anna, thank you. And now we would like to hear your poem. Thank you, Gina. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. I'm glad to join you from Hamburg. Here we have two sailing spots the river Elbe and the lake Alster. And I am going to read my poem Under Sail, in German, Unterm Segel. Unterm Segel. Seliges Segeln. Aber wer, wenn unerwartet der Wind dreht, je das Boot kippt, das dich begräbt. Wenn du untergehst und versuchst, hastig aufzusteigen, wenn du dich empor kämpfst und auf einen Widerstand triffst, das große, schwere Leinensegel nicht beiseite schieben kannst und stößt und stößt vergeblich. Wenn dich die Kraft verlässt, dir die Luft ausgeht, du nicht mehr atmen kannst, die Hoffnung weicht und das Wasser zum Gefängnis wird, zum Sargdeckel des Segels. Dann zieht Nacht auf. Dann krallt dich Todesangst, die du nie mehr vergisst, die dir in den Leib geschrieben wird und bleibt. Und wenn du dann in allerletzter Sekunde von kundiger Hand gerettet wirst, wenn du hinaufgezogen wirst aus dem Grab ins Leben, wird auch das dir in den Leib geschrieben. Für immer. Under Sail. Blissful Sailing, but Beware, when the wind shifts suddenly, 
sharply tilts the boat that buries you. When you go under and try to rise hastily, when you struggle up and meet resistance, the big heavy canvas sail you cannot push aside. You push and push in vain. When your strength leaves you, the air goes from your lungs. You cannot breathe. Hope ebbs. The water becomes a prison. The sail a coffin lid. Then night falls. Then you are clutched by fear of death that you never forget that is written in your body and remains. And when you then, in the nick of time, are rescued by expert hands, when you are pulled up out of the grave into life, this too will be written in your body forever. Thank yeah. you. Anna, thank you very much. Schönen Dank, Anna. So thank nice. You. So, uh, <clears throat> next comes Don Krieger. He's not only a non-replaceable internet technician for our events, for which we are grateful, my Don, but also an outstanding poet. He's from the United States, and as an English-speaking poet, reads, of course, only in English, but therefore, two poets. John Krieger is a biomedical researcher focusing on the brain's electric activity. He authorizes the 2020 hybrid collection discovery, the 2022 hybrid ship book, When Danger is Past, Who Remembers? And is the 2020 Pushcart nominee and 2020 Creative Nonfiction Foundation Science is Story Fellow. His work has appeared in several magazines and was translated into Farsi, Greek, Italian, German, Turkish, Romanian, and Portuguese. My dawn. Thank you, Gino. Thank you, everyone. It's it's such a pleasure to be here. And I'm I'm so delighted that my work is going to live in this anthology with everyone else's. It's it's uh it's just wonderful. I have two short pieces, this one eighth grade shop. Um, I realized the word shop may not be well understood. Um, shop is the name for a class that's often taught in junior high school or high school um, in the United States. It teaches technical skills like woodworking and electric work, electrical, that sort of thing. And it was taught decades and decades ago only to only to the boy students and the girls took home economics <laughs> eighth grade shop um, i planed and glued a large birch blank turned it down to a lamp with flared base, fluted body, formed neck and throat, three-way socket, matching shade, sanded glass smooth and varnished, all blonde like mom's hair. Then I made another, same shape and hardware, for Mildred, who came once a month, washed the walls and bathroom, 
who told me years later that her teen son was thrown from a speeding car and killed. I made that second lamp for Mildred, the curves, balance, and finish finer, and under the varnish, colored with a maple stain. That's eighth grade shop. And road rage. I passed on the right, then switched and sprinted by two more. He cut in front his brake lights coming at me with a gut-sick startle. I opened the phone to call the cops, then wished instead for a brick, a glass bottle, a full doggy bag, a shotgun. Before I could write his plate number, he switched lanes and raced away off the exit like the fleeting edge of an eclipse. I shrank trembling from the grip of it, then sped forward in traffic. That's road rage. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Don. So um, now we have to wait. For so now, our next poet is Elshin Sefki Sushin. She comes to us from Turkey and was born in Denizli in 1972. Her poems and articles on poetry appeared in various literary magazines. She published two poetry collections in Turkish showcasing the rich cultural heritage of her homeland. Her third and fourth collections are under publication. Some of her poems have been translated into English, German, Italian, Arabic, and Persian, reflecting the global reach of her work. She lives in Ankara in Turkey. And after her reading, we will watch a short music video again by Thomas Stern. Devki. Hello from Turkey. Uh, I'm Se Alçin Sevgi Suçin. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to say thank you, dear Gino, for this great job, uh, for these great uh, meetings. Uh, thank you for these great sharings. Um, I'm very happy to be here uh, today with uh, great friends and to share these wonderful wind poems. Uh, I did my poems uh, firstly in Turkish and then uh, in English. If I can do, I will share my uh, screen and let me try it. Um, Dear Gino, uh, can you let me share my screen? You uh, let you what? Uh, go ahead, uh, go ahead, go ahead. It go ahead, work. yeah. Uh, okay, it should, okay. It, it uh, because, uh, okay, okay, now it's okay. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. Yeah, okay. Good, it's coming. Yeah. Good. Uh, it, okay. You're good? Yeah, it's okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, let me see first in Turkish. Yeah. Sözün bedensiz evi. Saçları beyaz değil. Fakat hatırlıyor dünyanın ilk günlerini. Kokusunu ve korkusunu Adem'in. Havanın toprağa gömdüğü ilk çekirdeği. Sözün bedensiz evi. Toplayıp bütün çığlıkları genişliyor an be an. Ve gürültülü bir gezegene dönüşüyor. Döndükçe çoğaltıyor sesleri. Bu gece eski bir mektubu okuyor, sözün bakırıyla yazılmış taş yapraklara. İlk isyandan bahsediyor, Lilit'ten ve çocuklarından onun. Kölelik ve cennet aynı cümlede. İlk uyanan kurtulur, ilk işiten rüzgarın söylediklerini. Rüzgar ki suyun, toprağın, havanın bilmediklerini bilir ve ateşe yön verir nefesin gücüyle. Mevsimlerin hermesi. Bu sabah lir çalıyordu yapraklar dökülürken. Ve vakti giydiriyordu bir sarı bir yeşil. Yakamda bir dal yıldız çiçeği, 
kulak kesildim fısıldayıp durduklarına. Fleshless House of Word. It has no gray hair, yet it remembers all the days of earth, the fragrance and fear of Adam, the first seed Eve buried in the soil. The fleshless House of Word collects all cries at all times, expanding and turns in the noisy planet, amplifying voices as it turns around. Tonight, it reads on all letter committed to a stone lizard copper of word, talking of the first mutiny of Lilith and her children, bondage and Elysium in the same sentence. Deliverate will be the one who awakens first, the one who first heeds what the wind tells. The wind knows what the soil and the air knows not, and steals the flame with the force of breath. Harms of seasons was flying lyre this morning as leaves came down, and she clothed time with yellow, then green, a bow of Dahlia on my collar. I was all ears to what it whispered on. Thank you. Thank you very much, Axiom. Thank you. So now we will hear your music. Yes, it was wonderful. And when I am right, it was the river Elbe. Anna mentioned the two rivers of Hamburg, Elbe and Reifstein. And I guess it was a harbor of Hamburg, but I'm not sure. So our next poet is Hema Ravi from India. She's a part-time sales and communicative English trainer and writer by passion. She is a prize winner in short story and poetry competitions, working as the secretary of the Chennai Poets Circle, CPS, CPC, and editor of Florescence, the anthology of CPC. She organizes international poetry seminars and panel discussions as secretary of Connecting Across Borders. A research person for workshops. She, also, she is also an independent researcher. Emma. So, good evening, everybody. Thank you so much uh, for Gino for this wonderful opportunity. Truly appreciate it. Uh, so, my well wishers, Padma Jayangar, Paddy, Varsha Das, and all the poet friends, it feels so good to be part of this family. 
So I shall recite my poem in English and Tamil, my mother tongue. It's titled Winds of Change. At all times need to breeze along, past twists and turns. Understand that you're not a flickering candle that would melt soon. Matratin Kartra Palanerangalil Mel Konda Kartrod Mella Nelivu Sulivagalai Kadanda Sella Vendum Purundakul Ni Yondrum Viraivil Urudi Anaya Pogum Melugavati Allah. You can maneuver challenges and move past gales of laughter, knock off opponents, strip them of their sails. Yes. During hurricanes, remain anchored with the tsunami of thoughts sublimated. Yes, during hurricanes, remain anchored with the tsunami of thoughts sublimated. Puyal Kartru Pol Vulla Yadiri Galai Vendru, Saval Galai Yadir Kondu, Nagai Pavar Galai, Tandi Shendru, Avar Galin Tudupai Pidingivida. Aam. Suravali in Purudu, Una the Ninevagalai, Nangura Medu, Yen Nangadil, Tsunami, Katupaditida. Never fan the flames, also learn not to be left to twist and squirm. Never fan the flames, learn not to be left to twist and squirm. Tia Yendrume Visiri Vidade, Sidai Kapatu, Nediyaludan Nirkade, Varkai Urith Tendral, Men mayana zephyr kartru, sura vali matrum, ilaivenir kartru, visigindrana. Neer tuligal, argalai odikindrana. Matratin kartru, telivaga uladu, tendra ludan shell. Life's a breeze, gentle zephyr, tornadoes and gusty winds blow. Drops of water flow as rivers. The winds of change are evident. Breeze along. The winds of change are evident. Breeze along. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much, Emma. Thank and, you. Uh, now we will go to the other part of the world again. And uh, uh, we are now then from the United States, Holy Ecclesia. The work includes three poetry collections, Souvenirs of Shrunken World, Angels of Approach, and Sleeping Things, and a critical work, Boxing Inside the Box, Women's, women, women's Prose Poetry. She has received fellowships from the National Endowment for the art, the North Carolina Arts Council and the Massachusetts Cultural Council. Her current projects are theories of light and intergenerational memoir. And here, everybody, 1947, and a notated collection of letters between a mother and friends who had been co-workers during the Second World War. Holly, you're welcome. Thank you to have you here. No. You don't understand. There, sorry. <laughs> Um, I was thanking you for bringing us together and thanking Don for keeping us on track. Um, and Hema referring to us as a family really speaks to me. I feel that. It's the yeah. family I see once a year. Yeah. And it's it's just the best. It stays with me the entire time. So it's yeah. a huge gift that I appreciate. Yeah, very nice. Thank you. Um, my poem uh, takes its title from the Old English word for tree, which is the same word that is the Old English for truth. And I live in Miami, which is a city where the primary language is Spanish. And I was born into a German Irish family. So to be able to hark back to Old English, I find the more poetry I write, the more I stick with the, 
one syllable English words. I use much less florid language because I live in it all day long. So trio, the equivalence of tree and truth. I take as my sermon's text, the lowest limbs of the oldest oak in Audubon Park. My lesson one of grandmothers who died on elm lined streets one after the other of a soft wind blowing through a stand of cottonwoods that sighed for love of them. And then as recessional, a litany of the weeds of the Midwest to help us forget that scorching summer, that poplar felled by a tornado, that hard winter with no toys under the Christmas tree, that day I peeked through an iron gate at Frangipani and wondered, where am I? Once the idea of Kansas filled a book and then a movie that opened onto a windbreak of river birch, a farmhouse on a hill, a swarm of insects, the husband away somewhere, and a shift in the wind that rattled the storm shutters, set the sashes to whispering while sheets flapped on a line near the pear tree that was once the woman's delight. In the last century, a pygmy was displayed among geisha girls and Navajo weavers at a world's fair full of artificial light and faux thatched huts. His captor, hearing of his death years later, prayed that the little man had come to rest back home in the Congo beneath the trees that he knew as God, when in fact he died in a tobacco barn in Virginia by his own hand. Today, a shoeless man lies napping under the canopy of a tulip tree, the breeze loosing petals to blanket his sleep, for it is springtime, springtime, springtime in the heartland. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you very much. <clears throat> so, yeah. Vasha Das is uh, our next poem is, uh, from India. She writes in Gujarati, Hindi, and English, and translates from Bengali, English, Gujarati, Hindi, Marathi, and Odia. Born into a family of writers and journalists, she started writing children's stories in Gujarati as a teenager. Her first book, of children's stories was published when she was 18. She has more than 50 publications and short stories, essays, poems, radio plays, visual art reviews, travelogue, biography, poetry translation, and children's books. Her latest publications are a collection of her lectures on Mahatma Gandhi and a translation of contemporary Gujarati poems into Hindi. Thank you, Asha. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much, Gino. You know, I was so excited when I received your email. Because yeah. as Hema said, it's a re reunion of the family. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I'll first read the Gujarati poem. Uh, Pavan Sate Urvuche Mane. Hu Hamesha Premma Padu Nepachi Bahar Nikle Jau. Ek Diva Sem Thayu Ke Padwane Badle Uche Ka Nachadu. पण ऊंचे चढ़ी ने जाऊं क्या ना आकाश में नहीं पहाड़ों पर नहीं रुक्षों नी टोच पर पन नहीं पण ऊंचे तो जवो हतु त्यां तो बे पाखो उगी आवी प्रसरी अने फड़फड़ी उड़वा माटे तैयार हूँ पवन साथे उड़ीश उगमने के पची आथमने पृथ्वी नी फुदरडी ना सत्वारे ए उड्डयन मुक्त अने सुगंधित शांत अने आनंदित 
પૃથ્વી પરના પંચ મહાભૂતોમાં એક છે હવા એ વહે તો પવન અને ક્રોધે ચડે તો વાવાઝોડું મને બધા જ પવનો ગમે શ્વાસ લેવાનું સહેલું બને મારું સ્મિત રેલાય ને સૌને આવરી લે મને ઊંચે જવું ગમે પવન સાથે ઉડવું છે મને તો દેટ વોઝ ઇન ગુજરાતી એન્ડ રીડ ધી ઇંગ્લિશ ટ્રાન્સલેશન ગોઈંગ વિથ ધ વિન્ડ I was always falling in and out of love. One day I thought, how about rising in love? Rise and go where? Not in the sky. Not on the mountains. Not on the treetops. Yet I wanted to rise. I saw two wings grow. spread and flutter ready to take off i will fly with the wind to the east or west as the earth rotates it is free and fragrant peaceful and pleasant air one of the five elements it is what's on the earth when in motion it is the wind and when in fury is the typhoon i love the wind in all its forms it helps me to breathe my smile spreads it embraces all i love to rise and go with the wind thank you thank you thank you so now we will come to an end with our last poet however we will have two more readings namely on june 9th and june 23rd and you should know that your entrance link for today's reading will also work so i hope to see you again after the last recited poem we will have another music video at the end of the official performances however don't leave because we will have time for questions you may have and discussions this is an opportunity to interact with the poets and delve deeper into their creative processes for the last poem we will have Betty Gilmore from the United States who lives also in Italy. She's a poet and blues singer, born in Oklahoma and raised in Los Angeles. She studies Latin American culture at LCAA, volunteer work at a teacher in Costa Rica, studied poetry at the LA Women's Building Feminist Studio Workshop begins to combine poetry and blues to raise awareness of african american culture extending her interest to include other world <clears throat> cultures she dedicates herself to transcultural activities cultural interaction and anti racism activities in milan She has published numerous articles, poems, and music, and belongs to the International Poetry Collective, Poetry is My Passion, sponsored by the Hube Art Association. Thank you, Betty, to be here. Okay, thank you, Gino, and uh, I apologize. I'm technologically impaired. Uh, <laughs> <Me too. laughs> <laughs> but it's so wonderful to be with all of the poets and hear all the poetry. I'm really honored. And um, uh, the first poem is called When Goddess. There it comes again. It takes me by surprise with that soft, warm breath, like a lover's caress that slowly drifts away 
then returns without warning again with a cold, angry gust that turns the world upside down while I run and hide and try to escape until at last it calms down. I barely notice its absence until it shows up again and sweeps me up in a playful embrace that makes me feel like spring. And just for a while, I long to be wild and send whispers and howls through quiet, complacent streets. I long to be wild like the goddess, oh yeah, and come and go as I please. The next uh, poem, it started off with um, thinking about Iran, but I couldn't help but continue to think about Shireen Abu Akhle, the uh, Palestinian American journalist killed um, mm -hmm. by Israeli soldiers in um, Palestine. So I called the poem uh, Shireen. Like the women, in Afghanistan, who suffer under the Taliban, you have to hide your hair in Iran. In France, if you cover your hair with a veil, you may get a fine or go to jail. My hair is too curly to blow in the wind, but I remember you, Shireen your soft hair blowing free, your voice like a fresh breeze, scattering truth like lively leaves set free from unshakable trees. And when I see hair blowing in the wind, I remember you, Shireen, in the rising wind of voices that cannot be silenced until we are free again. Thank you, Betty. It's very, very touching. Thank you very much. For, Thank you. For, um, unless our poetry reading is now over, I want to thank every poet for the performance, the musician and video artist for his contribution, and everybody watching our event. And the last word has the music. So, again, thank you very much to everybody. And now if you have questions or want to tell us something or so, you are free to do so. We have time. I think we have a half an hour time. We'll, we'll, yes. About halfway through, it occurred to me that hurricane season just began where I live. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Big wind blows. Yes. And what I, I found very, very lovely was that that uh, <clears throat> that the, the, the, the both poets from India uh, that um, I don't know when uh, Vasha Das read her uh, poem in Gujarati. I hope I I, I, I pronounce it uh, right. That. Um, that uh, Hema told told me or wrote here that she couldn't understand it because they are the same country, <laughs> but they have so a lot of, of languages and in India I know that. <laughs> but, 
but for for one from Germany, we have also a lot of languages, dialects, and so, but not mm -hmm. like this. So, but I hope that's nice. <laughs> yeah. I found it intriguing the whole idea of uh, the wind that takes us, and mm -hmm. it is a promise and a danger at the same time. I mean, think about the wind. If there were not wind, there would not be wheat. Without wheat, we would not have bread. So the wind is absolutely crucial in sh spreading the pollen. There's a yeah. wonderful yeah, little yeah. legend, somebody um, who is angry, a farmer who's angry with St. Peter because the weather is always wrong. And so St. Peter one day gives him the chance, you determine the weather for one year. So mm -hmm. he does. So he has sunshine, rain, and so forth. And mm -hmm. when harvest time comes, there's not one kernel. And he complains bitterly, what happened? And Peter <laughs> says, well, you forgot the wind. <laughs> uh, so in a way, you know, life and death, it's so interlaced with each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, the wind is very important, and and because energy, it's, it's and yeah, because for me it was uh, as a topic was very important as well. So because wind is movement, and movement is all life, and so life is movement, and the wind, and you can see it, and and the leaves in the wind, and so yeah. wonderful. I like the wind, mm -hmm. <laughs> not the cold wind. Really. Mm -hmm. In fact, I when I um wrote my poem i wanted mm. to add like african myth like a goddess an african goddess mm. and i love the wind and but it's also every natural phenomenon a phenomena has uh, the good part and the bad part and i when i after i wrote the poem i was walking and it was a really windy day and i kind of imagined that it was oh yeah uh, you know roaming around <laughs> i didn't expect it but it was uh, interesting to think of the goddess of wind blowing mm -hmm. her yeah yeah i think it's interesting to see the both sides the romantic side of the wind you know this freeing being free like the wind in some poems, this side came out, and then also the destructive side, which is getting more and more dangerous for us because of climate change. Really, we have these extreme weather situations where wind can be deathly for lots of people, wind and, of course, water. So I think it's uh, interesting that also in the poems, there's this two sides, no? And it was very nice, very mm -hmm. nice poems. I like them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, and and I want to thank you because I I have had a beautiful opportunity uh, to understand the winds in many way uh, because winds is uh, wind can touch us uh, or soul in many different ways mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah. So we could see these uh, opportunities and different ways this evening. Mm. So, uh, thank you very much for these beautiful uh, poems to my friends. Yeah. Wind, we never know what direction it will blow, blow <laughs> us. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So, uh, <clears throat> so, but do you know when is this anthology available? In other countries, yeah, that the problem is uh, uh, the shipping uh, fees. So oh. that is a problem. So this is a wonderful book, yes. you can get it in the European Union, and um, that is okay with the shipping. But now I I got a message from from a friend uh, from Lily from Greece, and she ordered uh, two books, and I. I want to send her three because I told you when you order two books or so, you get another one from the publishing house. So, and then I was, I, I, I was shocked because before the shipping fee from Germany to Greece was nine euro something. So this time it was 28 euros. Uh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh. 28 euros. Oh, 
world, yeah. You can, you can believe it too. But on the other yeah. hand, there's a possibility, maybe it's easier and cheaper for you in India to, to buy a book via via Amazon for, oh. I, I don't know, 10 or so euro. I don't know what is in, in your uh, rupees or so. I, I, I have no idea. But maybe the shipping cost is not so high. Maybe it's it's, it's cheaper for you to buy it via Amazon. Yeah, but did you <laughs> put know, it I know, on the I know this sounds crazy, but that's uh, reality. We live, we have to live with. And in the United States, they uh, they have the, um, you can get it for for cheaper for cheaper one because they produce a book in the United States as well. So yeah. Yeah, I think when you publish with Amazon, you have to put international or European or American. Yeah, yeah. Therefore, therefore, that is a soft cover book, and the international uh, uh, international um, um, distribution or so from the pub from the from the not from the publisher but from from the printer from the printer and uh, dis distributor is oh, yeah. that you have. Only a soft cover can be handled international, mm -hmm. so not a hard cover. So I understand that, but you have the uh, yeah the opportunity to get that in the United States, in Australia, in the European Union, and in Great Britain. <laughs> United Kingdom is not longer European Union. And something if else. you order three copies, so let's say in the United States, if it's thirty dollars or so, then shipping is free. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. That is it's, it's, it's in the United States, and maybe it's in India. I think India is from is, is, uh, they printed it in India as well. Yeah, so I you just try found it, it. You try it. You try it, and can can uh, tell me what is what are you your experiences. So. Maybe okay, Indian can. bookseller can order books. Indian yes. bookseller. Yes, in Indian, yes, but that is the same problem because the publishing house in Germany had to send it to India. That's the problem. I just put the link. But in, in Germany, in Germany is no problem. Yeah. In the United States is no problem. The book is a bookshop can order it and can can sell it. But it I don't know. Order, if you're link. in if you're in India, you can order it on Amazon. It's it's the equivalent of it's fifteen hundred rupees. So it's about $18. That's so quite a bit. Okay. I mean, it's a lot of money yeah. for India. But uh, I mean, in the, future, in the future, it might be worthwhile to also produce the book as a, uh, as a digital book, as well yes. as a print book. And, and if you do that, then it can be purchased almost anywhere for about a dollar or a dollar and a half. I, I, I, we, yeah, we like did Indian it. edition. Yeah, we did it. We did it. We did it, and with the with the four other books before, but nobody nobody ordered uh, this digital book, so that therefore we we yeah. Yeah, the thing is, got to keep trying. I mean, it it it, and it doesn't cost anything to do that. I know, actually. I know, just, I know. It's just know. effort. Like you have to create this. Maybe, maybe book. we will do that next time again. I mean, but I sent all I sent all of you a, a PDF file. So that yes, you, yes, you have yes, and you are free to to give it away. So if you want, thank you. Thank you great, so much. Great. Thank you. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. So and I will say, uh, Patty is not longer here, but she was here. I think. I, I, so. No, I'm still here. Yeah. Oh, she's she's still here. No. Yeah, I I I, I finally got in, so I'm not leaving. <laughs> no, Petty. No, not Petty. Oh. I mean Petty. Petty. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Petty, <laughs> but so. I we will have maybe <clears throat> maybe one or two uh, further uh, um, uh, meetings in October because it was one or two three they, they wouldn't like to read but didn't work now and so and we will maybe try to do it in October with one or two uh, uh, more uh, readings so but I will announce it to to all of you yeah I can certainly do that no problem yeah okay uh, yeah, do you know you have another reading on the 9th yeah on the 9th yes, and on the 23rd week. yeah so can we join and listen to it yes you can join oh, with the same link Dawn, that's right same yeah? link 
Okay. Yeah. Right. And it's I will personal I, link. I yeah. will I will resend your links next okay. Friday or Saturday. So if you lose it, don't worry. I'll I'll send you another one. Oh wonderful. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you very much. Nice yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So okay. Anything else? Well, um, what would be the next topic, Gino? Yeah. <laughs> yeah so maybe, maybe, maybe at the end of this year. So we will uh, we have uh, publishers uh, and last year and so maybe for um, yeah, I think at the end of the year we will start, start, collect at the end of the year. Birth and death. Birth and death, yeah. <laughs> We have the opportunity to think about different elements <laughs> uh, for, for poems. Yeah, uh, it, it's really good for us. <laughs> I think I, I think that will that will be that will be that the matter that we take another element and uh, yeah, yeah, that we have yeah. wind and so <clears throat> yeah. because if we had the seasons for seasons and so yeah. and well, we have be, for for yeah. elements and so maybe. Because Maybe earth about or fire. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> fire yeah. would be good. Or maybe fire would be very, yeah. very good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and we yeah. started with wind because I, I was sitting with Claudia Piccini, Piccino oh. in, in Italy and I had, had, had a dinner in the night and we talked about it and then we said the wind was very good. Yeah, wind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Looking forward to